Okay, so let's get started with the collagen tutorial. First, the overview. In this collagen tutorial, I'm going to show you the different inputs that we can use to create a collagen climate file, as well as a daily format climate file that is fully stochastic or semi-stochastic. I'll explain those in the different sections. At the very end, I'm going to show you using an example data set from Tokat Turkey, in which we prepared a PAR file, PRN file, and the two different CLI files under the different options. First, let me show you how to download Clygen. Clygen can be downloaded from the USDA ARS website shown here. As you can see, Clygen is a stochastic weather generator, which produces daily estimates of precipitation, temperature, dew point, all of the different variables that WEP uses for a simulation. I downloaded Clygen version 5.3. You can follow along and do the same on your computer. I've already downloaded this Clygen file beforehand, and it's located here. You can see the zip file from the website. You can also see a parameters manual, which can also be obtained from the same website. And here is the unzipped folder. The unzipped folder contains the Clygen 53exe which is the executable we'll be using in this tutorial. You also have access to the source code if you're interested in developing or changing Clygen for your own uses, but that's not supported by this tutorial. For now, let's just go ahead and use Clygen 5.3. I'm going to show you a brief example using the Windows command prompt. I'm going to copy my address, change into that directory. Clygen 5.3. .exe. And if I run that, you're going to see that I now have the command prompt come up where I can begin to use Glygen. I'm going to escape out of that because you can see here there is a minus H or slash H to list the command line options. So let's do that. I'm going to use the same command to start Glygen, but I'm going to provide a minus H and this is going to provide me the help file. So you can see here the different options that I can use when I'm running Clygen. I can provide the state number or station ID number. This is if you're using Clygen inside the US with its existing database. And a lot of other options that we're going to describe later. For example, you can see the beginning year, the duration and years, all of these things that we can specify for any given simulation time period.